Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my first Hitman video of 2017, sponsored by RageWorks.net. This is also the very first elusive target in Colorado. Unfortunately, first times are known to have mishaps. Good afternoon, 47. Your target is Richard M. Foreman, a skilled infiltrator believed to be working with the militia on an unknown operation on U.S. soil. The target is a highly skilled actor, and our files link him with a successful impersonation of billionaire Charles Vanderblatt, where he siphoned hundreds of millions out of the Vanderblatt accounts over the course of three weeks. The contract has two objectives, identifying and eliminating the target in an apparently accidental death such as a fall or drowning. Secondly, uncover files or data about the operation being planned. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. Good morning, 47. Welcome to Colorado. The target is notorious for changing his appearance and mannerisms. You will need to sweep the compound to locate him. Remember, you must eliminate the target in a manner that appears accidental. Avoid explosives, as these are too likely to draw close attention. Good hunting. Now this actually was a run and done for me, a one and done run. I'm a little disappointed with myself in it. I mean, not because of the time, because it took me 30 minutes to do this and having never done the mission before, first time, that's not a bad time. It's just the things that I did that I could have avoided, like, this is why I stopped here. Note to anyone who hasn't done this yet, stay the hell off the roof. Because something like this can happen. Guess what? Solemn Assassin gone. Even though this guy is knocked out and they're both going in the box, that body found for some reason counts against me. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah, first, first point of note is to stay the hell off the roof. And then it was just the fact that I don't know, I kind of was just really futzing around for a long time on this mission because I just really didn't want to fail it and I was hoping to get the Silent Assassin because I missed it last time in the um, Bangkok mission. Now, I didn't really bring any distractions with me because Colorado was full of apricots which can be used as distractions. It's the second point of note. Either one of the the special ops disguises will get you close enough to get in the house because you need the special, I mean the you elite militia it. disguise to do that. I used to do this, this part of the mission left and right in my sleep, but it's been a while and I did not practice Colorado before I did this. Do not knock out the guy before he turns off the water. Otherwise, you get that. I had to throw this guy out the window because there's another guy coming. What the fuck? Oh. And you see, I just made it in time. Hey, do we have an owner for this weapon? So this Spec Ops Militia disguise will get me close enough to the house to get in the trailer that has the elite militia disguise which you'll see in a second right there that's I changed into it and the reason why I fast forward is because there's really nothing to note here I tried to avoid the camera and got spotted anyway the house is glitched because um damn it I can't remember his name the main guy from the Colorado mission, he stands there with his bodyguard right here, forever. He never moves, and his bodyguard is an enforcer. So you sneak past the the bodyguard carefully, but you gotta keep moving because there's another guard upstairs that's also an enforcer. The two computer nerds here, the hackers, and our actual target, neither of them are, um... Are the wiser to you? 
I'm sorry. I'm on schedule here, son. Now what Here's you might want to get are um I need to get these munitions moved out by sunrise and you're two packs of a medic poison. Like you might want to bring a medic poison with you and downstairs in that laundry room where I knocked a guy out, there is rat this poison. Is from the White House, son. Leave the political because right here, this guy here, he's the laptop he's on, that's where the documents are. And you can you could poison potentially his coffee glass right here. And right next to Foreman where he's sitting and practicing is a water bottle, which he does occasionally drink from. So you could potentially poison both of them and if they walk to the bathroom, which is like two steps Air away, there you go. James Cobb, son. You best open this gate right now. I do not appreciate being kept waiting. The big problem is the guard that was right there. Better, I think. Have Usually he just goes in and out that, that balcony door, but here he actually walks in, as you saw earlier, to where Foreman is. What you're seeing now is literally over 10 minutes of me, like I said, butting around because I could not figure out how to get Foreman out of that chair. And then I saw the water bottle and thought about poisoning him. At this point, I'm thinking about drowning him. But still, can't get him out of the chair and away from the bottle where he wouldn't notice. So I went after the nerds first. I'm sorry this is just a long period of fast forward, but this is how long it took me to basically figure out what to do. Bottom line, take out both of the hackers. Oh, man. You know, knock them out and hide them. Because once you knock out both the hackers, how about you show yourself? the behavior Wake pattern up. for both that guard and form and change. Foreman will walk out of the room and go to the balcony, and the guard will go downstairs. I guess he was up there to watch the hackers as much as he was to guard Foreman. So there's a there's a a dresser in the next room, in the bedroom. The problem is that there's a guard here. And you got to be careful of how you knock him out because when he's looking out the windows, sometimes if you knock him out, somebody will see it and you'll get the crime notice uh, notification, which definitely means no silent assassin. But right here, you're pretty good. Because <laughs> everybody on that side is pretty much looking out towards the, the, um, the shed. So I didn't put him in the dresser because you obviously you can only fit two bodies and I wanted to put both the hackers in the dresser. But then even that plan changed. I was just double checking because like I said I hadn't been in Colorado in a while I wanted to make sure you know maybe there was another place I could hide bodies and I could hide more than two and it was about this time that I done goofed I literally said to myself what did I just do I, was, I wasn't ready to enact my plan, but that forced my hand because I wasn't planning on it really, but now you can no longer restart. So knock him out, and this door is very convenient. Because nobody's gonna come over here. 
in the normal Colorado mission, this would not be a place to hide it because that, that guard that goes out to the balcony, he walks over and patrols the whole floor. He doesn't do that here. And you see Foreman got up, and here it comes. Drowning is not happening. Here it goes. <gasps> and a million internets to anybody down. who can place that screen. The money has been wired to your account. The problem now is that the guard went downstairs to right behind where that enforcer is, and he come now he's walking back and forth between the two floors. I was about to run downstairs right now. Because I had no idea where the guard had gone and I wasn't going to worry about it. But look, there he is. So I wasted an apricot. I was like, somebody just doesn't like me in this mission because he'd never done that before. Now he's going to rest there. Fortunately, he doesn't stay for a long time. He goes right back downstairs. And it was kind of good. This guard sort of changed his posture because I threw the apricot. So it was a little bit easier for me to sneak past him. I was about to run out. And as luckily, I got spotted by another camera because I completely forgot to delete the evidence. Because at this point, I'm just really nervous that I'm going to mess up and get killed. Because with every other elusive target, even the one that I failed, when I actually killed the target, I was ready and I was like, this is the, the time. Here. That didn't happen this time. Now, I snuck in to destroy the evidence because I'm thinking if I destroy the evidence, I still have Silent Assassin. And when I didn't get it, I instantly knew it was because of that incident on the roof. And this is what I mean when I say I got nervous. Watch what happens when I try to leave. Not that guy, because he's not worried about me. This guy. I was like, nope, 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 nope. Let's forget about Michael Myers right there. And I was so nervous that for the first time in my elusive target history, except for again, the time that I failed, I did not retrieve my suit. But ultimately, a win is a win. I now have a hunter's hat with my tactical suit, so now 47 can look like Crocodile Dundee. I thank you guys for watching. I hope to get Silent Assassin next time.